Libras, what does the future have in store for you? Does the universal eight year mean more cash in our pockets? We're actually going to be finding out right now. The morning blend numerologist Patricia Kirkman joins us to fill us in. Oh, it's so good to be here today. This is like a birthday for a lot of us because this oh. is the, the preview of the year we're going into. Okay. And that's the nice part about it. Except for people that are in a nine year, they're still going to have to wait until December 31st to make that leap into the new year. But we have a bridge period, which is from October 1st to December 31st, which is a combination of the year we've been in and the year we're going into. So we have that three-month, shall we say, uh, testing the waters. Okay. But, but that's always good, too. And the universal year coming up is an eight-year. Okay. So the month of October is an eight-month. It's all about our finances, wanting them, looking for them, investing in them, knowing that we're going to spend more money on things than anticipated, but we're going to get more quality out of it. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, but it truly will in the end. <laughs> I can so roll my may, eyes. Uh -huh. Yeah, we may not feel like the, the quality, but that's what right. we're getting. So exactly. Is this, is this a time for everyone to have a little bit more cash in their pockets, or does it depend? It depends. Now, for the most part, yes, you're going to find a little bit more things being available, uh, opportunity to invest, taking another look at things. But there are certain personal years you're going into well, the eight personal year or universal year is always karmic, as is the number four. Eight says, I want all the money. Four says, I don't have any. So people that are in a, going into a four year during this eight, they're going to have more of a tug of war going on than the average person. But it doesn't have to be bad because it's a good time for investment, okay. for land, okay. property. So every number has its plus and minuses to it. But the eight right now, it's, gosh, show me the money. Okay. Be a leader. Uh, it's a time when we really don't intend to, but we do seek for the, the higher aspect of what's going on. I'm sure that's what a lot of people want to know about. What's going on with my money and what's going on with my love? That's probably the two biggest things people are, are oh, curious about. And jobs. And jobs, oh, yeah. Yes. Well, jobs going into the money. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely that way. Well, the nice part about it is with this year, the eight year is all about our creative side from the standpoint of making money, not being afraid to be, I'll say, use the words, chairman of the board, be in charge, take charge, be the best you that you can be, and others will follow you. Try to force them. If you force feed, they'll back up right away. And Patricia, we keep talking about numbers like the eight and the four. How do we find out what our personal number is? Do we have to come to you for that? Is it, is it adding it up in our name? How do we figure that out? Well, to find out what your personal year is, very simple. You can always look at my website or ask me. I have no problem with that. Add your month and day of birth together. Reduce it to a single number. We're going into a universal eight. So next year, whatever your number is, with that eight, we'll tell you what your personal year is. Right now, I'm in a universal seven year. Okay. So my birth month, birthday, and for, even though it's a universal seven, it's also my personal seven. So some of us will end up having the numbers double up like that on us. Okay. But it Is makes it interesting because every number has its own effect. And if it's missing in your name, then it's something that you're here to learn a little bit more about. This is so interesting. Oh, yes. And tell us all about Libras. This well, is the I just happened to be one. Oh. <laughs> and you're sassy and green yes. today. Yes. Libra is uh, about, uh, think of the scale of balance. It's always trying to balance things. And unfortunately, we uh, outdo ourselves trying to be there for everybody else and sometimes put an anchor on our own backside. But uh, we like to be social, outgoing, creative, love things that are different. It, yeah, a little flamboyant in some respects even though many of us can be shy by the personal numbers that we have. But the Libra likes to take a risk on certain things that involve people. Just love working with people. Okay. So what I do is perfect for what I am. I was, I was just about to say that. This fits right into, into that. So mm -hmm. uh, you take your, your, you said there's the universal number, then of course you have your personal number, right. and then you have uh, your, whether you're a Libra. There's more things that involve, but to just know what year you're in, Right now, add your month and day of birth together. And Christina, if we took a look at yours, yes. you're in a four personal year this year. So four. this year has been a little dicey as far as laying things out, but you're going into a five starting this month. So this five is all about major changes, going forward, taking a risk on things, and you will be very much a risk taker. By the way, pay attention to your driving from oh. now until September of next year. Ooh. Pay attention to my driving. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Because 
he uh, heavy foot goes with the five. Okay, heavy foot goes yes, with the five. Definitely. That, that may be true to about. Uh -huh. <laughs> but between now and the end of this year, you're in a bridge period that is dealing with things for humanity and other people and anything to do with the theater or the arts. So welcome here. You're doing it right. Yes. And it, it is big changes for me. So mm -hmm. that is uh, playing right into that before going into five. Definitely. That's so interesting. I know. Now I'm like, I want to go add up my birthday. That's <laughs> what year I am. Well, it's, and I always keep information on my website and on Facebook. I put out something every morning telling people what's going on. And right now, this weekend, we're having a, a psychic fair, the Mystic Messengers, at the Double Tree on Alverdon. We have about uh, 26, 27 people there. Everything from 3D aura, feng shui, numerology, astrology, uh, massage therapy, you, uh, mediums, a little bit of everything. So you can get to test the waters and see what fits for you. That sounds awesome. It We've is. been doing this for 14 years. Wow. So we have to be good. <laughs> you have to be good. <laughs> Patricia, thank you so much for coming and telling us about, uh, you know, Libras and the Universal Year. And uh, for anybody who would like to get a reading from Patricia or more information about today's segment and what the numbers mean for you by visiting her website at patriciakirkman.com.